So I think if we had just told the students, oh, write down three ideas and make a poster right now, some of our students might have just given up right then and there. I know that a lot of people would agree with Mrs. Krisman. And I think that is the benefit of using these discourse strategies, especially when all the students are required to write something down. Writing is essentially proof that they were thinking. A gallery walk is an opportunity for the kids to move around the classroom and see what their peers have worked on. Um, just as you would walk around an art gallery and move from picture to picture to painting to painting, the students will look at what their peers have done and then they have an opportunity to give them feedback. Take your colored marker with you. Your colored marker travels with you on your gallery walk. This is a general education, team taught ESOL classroom. And so that means that we have students in here ranging from ESOL levels one all the way through ESOL level five and even some students who've been dismissed from the program. And so we find with students at this level that they can all participate. They all are cognitively invested in the material being taught, but they just need maybe a little bit more help inviting the conversation and asking the question. And these scaffolds and these discourse prompts do just that. If the goal of today's lesson is to share science ideas and group products for a student gallery walk, then the process Who begins by tapping prior the top knowledge. Top three artists right now. And the third one? 24 karat magic in the air. And I wanted to um, demonstrate how to do the conversation. So how do we do these discourse strategies? So that's when we broke out our, our prompts. And so I think she must be considered good by the people in the industry. And I agree. And we had that conversation. So Anne and I went back and forth talking about um, which pop star we thought was the best um, using those discourse prompts so they could see that, okay, this is something that I can do. We started with the music example because we wanted to give them something that they would be able to talk about, something that they have some prior knowledge with, Start and then we were able to bring it back to the science terms. Words like wattage, kilowatt, energy transferred and expended. It's all part of a contest called Battle of the Buildings, and the students aim to win if they can persuade their teachers to get on board. What are the top three ideas that you can use to convince teachers to save energy and help us win this contest? The Battle of the Buildings is an FCPS-sponsored program, um, part of the FCPS Get to Green initiative. And they're literally comparing electric bills prior to the, con to the contest starting to after. That's one. And our students have been going into individual classrooms and offices and doing uh, an energy audit, using the kilowatts, collecting the data, and then writing the teachers an individualized letter on ways that they can save energy in their classroom. What can a teacher start doing? Or what can a teacher stop doing? So it's $1,400 a year. Do you think that's a lot of money? Yeah. Okay, so what do you think teachers should do? What should we do instead? I think sometimes when students are at their tables, they just want to know, well, what is the right answer? What am I supposed to write? What do you want me to write? And it's not about that. It's really about um, getting them to get figure out what their ideas are. So that means you're going to have to reach some consensus. So some of your ideas might not make the cut. First, we want to have two comments for each poster. So a gallery walk is an opportunity for students to see each other's work and to provide feedback. Um, to each other and I really like a gallery walk especially for open-ended questions because they can see that there's not one right answer. So we're going to stand up and we are going to move clockwise so let's go ahead and move to the next table to our right. So discourse strategies I think are a really important tool to use in the classroom. They can take a little bit more time but it's definitely a worthwhile thing to do. As students move from table to table, they experience the gallery walk. Team Meadows and Crimson have embedded multiple learning prompts throughout class, such as role modeling, ideas. sentence starters, vocabulary lists, and data sheets. For now, the students stroll, read, reflect, and comment on the day's work. After all, there's a contest to win, and it's all about the science. We should put what we think, and for the other side, what they think. Smart. That's smart.